Good morning and, and happy training camp eve. Yeah, I know it's clunky, but it works. This is your morning minute on 5280 Sports Network. I'm Sean Drotar. He's TJ Carpenter. Uh, I'm wearing the, the buff shirt too today because Pac-12 media days began, but we don't really care about media days. Except for today, where you and I are going to be at the Denver Broncos media That's barbecue. Right. This is the kickoff for the Broncos training camp season. We'll hear from uh, Joe Ellis, we'll hear from John Elway, we'll likely hear from Vance Joseph, and we'll have uh, an opportunity to probably talk to a couple other coaches and players as the Broncos set the stage now for another training camp and one that I think is going to be very very interesting now that the Peyton Manning era has now completely been washed away I think that the hangover per se is over there now we get into a, a situation where the quarterback battle certainly reigns supreme but isn't necessarily going to decide the season all by itself no, uh, the quarterback position is the most important one, and this is the only bona fide quarterback battle you have in the NFL this year. So obviously that's going to play a huge role, but there are other things to consider. Offensive line, your blind side, who's your left tackle? Uh, I think that's going to be really important because if you don't figure that position out and that person's capable, your quarterback is, is going to be left out to dry. They have to figure out who their tight end is going to be. They have to figure out uh, a lot of different things. So we'll, we'll find out what the pieces around the quarterback are going to be as well during training camp. And I think that's going to uh, determine a lot of whether or not whoever the quarterback is, probably Paxton Lynch, is successful or not. And when you win in football still, even though we have the high-tech passing offenses and all the big stats, the truth is games are still won on the line of scrimmage. Offensive line, yeah. defensive of line those interactions are what decide football games the Broncos on the offensive side we know the line has been an issue and you'll keep a close eye on that defensive line is being revamped this team still really hasn't recovered from the loss of, of Malik Jackson to free agency the next up might be De Demarcus Walker their second round pick is there anyone else you think can, can step in do you think Walker can do it immediately or do you expect maybe one of the veterans or even maybe Jared Crick who took that role is he gonna have it again yeah I think Crick is probably your your best bet to start with We'll find out whether or not the rookies can come through. And if they can, uh, that, that's really good for the team. That's good for John Elway, uh, if they can do that. Uh, but as we know, coaches do not like trusting rookies <laughs> because rookies don't know what they're doing yet. So uh, I think Craig probably starts off in that position, but we'll have to wait and see. They've added a lot of heft to the defensive line to try to help them stop that run. Uh, and a lot of that is dictated on, on taking on blockers and letting the inside linebackers do their job. Brandon Marshall is going to be the enforcer there, so you're going to have to you're going to have to make sure that he has the room and space to do his job when it comes to stopping the run, and that comes down to whether or not guys in the D line can do their job. Well, it's all happening. Broncos training camp starting in earnest. Keep it right here at 5280 Sports Network. You can also catch us on Mile High Sports Radio every morning, seven to nine, thirteen forty a.m., one zero four seven FM. In fact, tomorrow morning, the first practice of training camp. Before it even starts, 7 a.m., we'll be sitting down with Vance Joseph to talk to him about his his new football team. So for TJ, I'm Sean. Thanks you for thank you for tuning into the Morning Minute. This is 5280 Sports Network.